Portia Moore took to social media to share with anyone willing to listen how her husband of five years, a man that she'd been with for 18 years, blindsided her with one of the most brutal breakups you can imagine. Here's a look at the TikTok video she posted. Take a look. This is my apartment after I came back home from Vegas. I had a convention in Vegas. Um, I was gone the second through the seventh, came home to my apartment, completely wiped out. My husband left, he left me my jewelry here in this room here. Um, yeah, and took everything else, including some items that belonged to solely me. He also took the washer and dryer out of here. I also took the bed, took everything out of here, cut off the internet service so I can no longer work from home. And then cleared out the closet here, which I'll come to light. Cleared the closet here and left the wedding dress in here. I'll leave that right there for him. That video went viral more than 6 million views. And when I spoke with her last year, just after she said her husband left, here's what she told me. When you saw the wedding dress still hanging in the closet, that was a gut punch for me. <laughs> I don't know how it felt for you. I don't know if you could hear in my voice. Um, I was just trying not to cry um, on the video. When I, look, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just, I don't know. He made his statement loud and clear, and I heard him this time. How do you find happiness after that? Let's ask her, Tam Fam. Please welcome in person Portia Moore. <laughs> This is a live show and I saw you backstage, but I wouldn't make eye contact because I didn't want to cry. Um, because I have thought about you a lot and people ask me about you all the time. Right after you appeared on the show, I thought people would instantly have sympathy, empathy. There were people questioning you. Yeah, yeah. What were they saying? Um, a lot of it was, what did you do? No one acts like that for no reason at all. So what did you do? What is it that you're not telling us? Um, yeah. So it's like you go on social media, people share their journeys, yeah. the good, the bad, the happy, the sad. Yeah. And then you tell folks and it's, what did you do? Yeah. What did I do? Were you prepared for that? I wasn't. Yeah. I wasn't. I can only take accountability for what I actually do. Um, my husband leaving without like a note or without a text message or whatever, like there was his decision to make. Not mad at it, but the, the, me being responsible for it, it was just a lot. So yeah. I kind of had to retreat from social media for a little bit. I'm happy you did. I'm happy you also decided to come back because in reality, you did the work and you rebuilt yourself because you were financially left yeah. with nothing. Yeah. You had to move in with your friend or mm -hmm. temporarily. Mm -hmm. You had to piece yourself back together. Yeah. What was the, other than getting off social, what was the next step? and piecing yourself back together? Definitely therapy for me. I'm a very sensitive person. I take things to heart. Um, the questioning, what did I do? It hit me really hard. It's like, so what did I do? What could I have done differently? What could I have said differently to prepare for this? Can I answer that? Nothing. Yeah. Because someone going into your home and taking everything, your internet, all of that, I mean, and this is not to disparage him, I don't know. I know that we reached out to him and didn't hear back for this. So this is not about him. It's just about humanness. Yeah. And you, though, found happiness. How do you, how? Because I might still be hiding in that wedding dress. Like, <laughs> oh, I'm just, because it is so shocking. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't have, I have no idea where the wedding dress is. I left it there. And that was it. <laughs> 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 yeah, I was done with that. But um, therapy was a big part of that, um, coaching myself. Just finding the things that were true to me, reconnecting to, you know, my writing, journaling helped me a lot. Um, yeah, just kind of taking, breaking away from social media was a big one. And therapy, it was a must because for a minute there I was drowning. It was like, I don't really know if I want to live and go through this life anymore. And I really contemplated ending it all. But 
um, thinking about my brother and my sister, thinking about the fact that I've survived the death of my mom, if I can survive that, I'll be okay. I can survive it. Next up, Portia's best friend joined us the last time we spoke, and I said that everyone needs a BFF like this because you have therapy, you have perspective over real loss of a parent, but you gotta have a road dog to get through things and find happiness. Portia's best friend joins us next. with one of our most talked about guests since I launched this show, Portia Moore. She revealed to the world on social media last year her heartbreaking moment that she came home to find that her husband had left her and cleaned out their entire apartment, even taking the washer and dryer. Also joining us, one of the people who's given Portia so much support, her best friend, Erica Sims. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Erica, I wanted you on too because no one gets mad for you like a best friend. Right. <laughs> so you were mad for her, but you wanted to be happy for her. Mm -hmm. And that was part of your role. She was financially mm -hmm. in a bad situation. She had to move with you, with you for a while. Over the year, what's it been like to see her find her happiness? I mean, it's been a roller coaster. Like she said a few minutes ago, like there were some really, really low days. And I was just there basically to remind her of all the plans that she has, all the plans that we have, and her family, like her brother and sister. So, and her nieces. <laughs> I think she has like three nieces. So yeah, <laughs> like just a reminder of what she has. What, what it is, because so often for women, and I'll be transparent, sometimes we're defined by the significant other in our lives, mm -hmm. and we forget the people who really define us are our families. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> And I like my friends, I'll be honest, oh boy, it's a live show. My friends used to tell my exes, we were here before you and we'll see you gone. <laughs> you know, and your friends, they'll be like, hey, bye-bye. Yeah. Um, yeah, some people want to know, did you ever hear from him again? Because it's been a year. Yeah. Did you? So I did hear from him right after your, your show aired um, last year. Was he mad at me? He wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of don't care, but go ahead. <laughs> he wasn't, but he, um, he apologized and... Um, didn't want the divorce. What? Yeah. yeah. He was like, oh, you know, sorry, just kidding. Like, I made a mistake. There's nothing else out here. I want my wife back. And yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you said, <laughs> no, sir. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and again, listen, we all make mistakes. So I don't want to, you know, let that be the focus here. I'm sure he has his own journey and we'll mm -hmm. keep him in our thoughts and our prayers as we say. Mm -hmm. um, but in reality, this is about you. Mm -hmm. And um, when you were married, I understand you didn't travel a lot, a lot of things you didn't do. Yeah. yeah. You held yourself back. Yeah, yeah. It was easy to shrink and dim their light, right? I was taught growing up, you know, women are to be seen, not heard. Mm -hmm. So it was really easy for me to transition back into that. So what he said, kind of went, and if he didn't want it, then I just didn't do it. You know, this is why, I, I always wonder why people ask me about you, and I know it's the shock of seeing that play out, but I also think they saw themselves in you, because we all have had these moments mm -hmm. of darkness, especially in relationships. Yeah. So she went from shrinking herself down to a low-cut pink top on the <laughs> Tamron Hall show. Yes. Um, <laughs> has it been a joy for you to watch her do this? Oh, absolutely, like to see her glow come back, because, and I don't remember if I said it last year, but it's like when I met her, when she wasn't, when she was by herself, yeah. like the glow was there uh -huh. and she was vibrant and just like outgoing and all these good things. Yeah. And then when her ex was around or when she would talk about him sometimes, not all the time, but okay. sometimes it would just be like, you're getting smaller. Well, now she's big, yes. she's glowing. You're happy. <laughs> um, now, uh, are you going to? You're, you're taking. You're finally going to take some vacations and travel. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? Um, so the biggest trip for me is Athens, Greece. You're going to Athens, yeah. Greece? Yeah. <laughs> well, I knew the answer to that. <laughs> and so we. I'm so grateful for guests like you who come on and speak their truth and inspire other people because we all, happiness is a journey. It is. And I wanted to plan a little something special for you while you're in Greece. So our friends at the Secret Food Tours, and I'm a foodie, so when I go someplace, I want a good bed in my hotel 
and I want good food. Yes. We have some friends that know what to do in Athens, Greece, and so we are sending you on a culinary adventure. Yes. The multi-award winning global tour company specializes in delicious food tours, flavorful experiences, over 60 cities around the world. Wow. Take a look, wow. you're gonna eat with locals, you're gonna have your very own Greek gastronomic guide, and you're gonna discover special dishes, secret tours, secret food tours. And I love this because they know how to have these private and architectural tours. You're going to be treated like the queen you are. Thank you. And the tour is worth over $500. So you're gonna have a blast. Are you dating? Because <laughs> Greek men are gorgeous. I've been there. I am dating. What? You're dating? I did not know that. <laughs> you're dating. I am dating. Okay, I will, okay, I won't ask about it. <laughs> but you like him. I like him a lot. Because there is always somebody gonna love you. So thank you, congratulations. <laughs> and you know what? Oh, I'm gonna share the wealth because I'm I need to know about this person you're dating. Well, guess what? <laughs> Tam fam in the studio audience and Erica. <laughs> Uh, you all are also getting something sweet. Secret food tours did not want you to leave here hungry. So you're all getting your very own gift card to explore dishes in a city of your choice. The gift card is $50. Any city, you will be able to go and get yourself a little something on this special food tour. Thank you so much. And everyone at home, you can use the code Tamron for a special discount on your very own secret food tour. Before I let you go, what do you believe is the key to happiness? Definitely loving yourself. Loving yourself. Yeah. Portia, thank you so much. Thank you for sharing your journey with us. Thank you for being a great friend, Erica. We all need an Erica in our lives. <laughs>